Hello and welcome to Love My Poland. Have you ever thought about which non-Slavic countries in the European Union have the most in common with Poland? If you have, Ireland, by the way, hello from Ireland, is probably one of the first to pop into your mind. This weekend, I am around Dublin and I've just seen an awesome concert by one of my favorite bands. It's called They Might Be Giants. But my visit here isn't just about the music. I'm excited to dive into the cultural ties between Poland and Ireland. It is my first time in Ireland, and since many of my Polish friends have left me from Częstochowa and moved here over the years, I'm really curious to see what impact Polish immigrants have made over the past two decades. I cannot wait to bump into a few fellow Poles as I stroll through the streets of Dublin after chatting with some amazing folks at the Irish Polish Society and doing a little digging. I've stumbled upon some really interesting insights. Today, I would love to share 12 of the most captivating things I've discovered. For the first one, I have to start with this fact. No one told me this in over two decades in Poland. Did you know that the ties between Ireland and Poland stretch all the way back to the 17th century? In 1698, an Irish doctor named Bernard O'Connor wrote the very first English language history of Poland while working at the court of King Jan Sobieski III. I just discovered this fact recently and it's pretty amazing to see how intertwined our two histories are. Number two, when Poland became part of the European Union back in May of 2004, Ireland was one of just three countries that quickly opened its job market to Polish people, right alongside the UK and Sweden. Prior to this, the Polish community was fairly small, as many people came over for just temporary seasonal work. With Poland joining the European Union and Ireland holding the presidency at that time, we've seen over 300,000 Polish folks settle in Ireland, making them one of the largest immigrant groups here. This wave of migration has created strong cultural and economic ties between our two countries. Number three, the Polish workforce played a crucial role during Ireland's Celtic Tiger boom, which was a period of huge economic growth in Ireland between the years of 1995 and 2007. Poles left their impact by filling gaps in construction, agriculture, and hospitality. Today, Poles continue to significantly impact the Irish economy, especially in healthcare and tech, with many Poles holding advanced degrees that boost their opportunities in Ireland's professional sectors. Number four, this is just kind of something that blew me away. The number of Polish grocery stores that have popped up all over Ireland, specifically here in Dublin, over the years. These stores have brought a taste of home with offerings like cheeses, fresh meats, sweets, soup mixes, as well as good Polish beer and other alcohols. These shops not only help Polish folks feel more at home, but it also gives them and everyone a chance to enjoy authentic Polish cuisine. Number five, both cultures are proud of their hearty comfort foods. While Ireland is famous for its stews, potatoes, and soda bread, Poland boasts its own delicious dishes like pierogi, kielbasa, and flavorful soups. And yes, Poles are still very much in love with their potatoes. <laughs> it's clear that both cultures appreciate simple, filling, and delicious meals. Number six, you can't really talk about food without mentioning drinks, can you? In Poland, obviously alcohol plays an essential role in family gatherings and celebrations, often within the home. Vodka in particular is a staple at meals and social events, accompanied by a beautiful tradition of toasting that fosters a sense of togetherness. Now in Ireland, there's no denying their love for beer and whiskey here. When it comes to beer though, both Poland and Ireland share a deep appreciation, but it's the atmosphere in their pubs that sets them apart. Irish pubs are vibrant social hubs where friends and strangers alike come together to enjoy great music and even better company. Just last night, I immersed myself in the Irish pub culture and let me tell you, the warmth of hospitality and the strong sense of community really make it a unique experience. I was fascinated by number seven. You'll often spot Polish celebrations here in Ireland like Anjeki, St. Andrew's Day, and Świętonka, the Easter food blessing. These festive occasions give folks a taste of Polish culture right on Irish soil, again enhancing local diversity. Number eight probably won't surprise you at all. Poland and Ireland both have very strong Catholic roots. Polish immigrants often fit right in with Irish communities, primarily because of their shared experiences, like going to Mass and their mutual admiration for the Polish Pope, John Paul II. With both countries being historically Catholic, this common faith makes it easier for Polish newcomers to blend in by attending services and getting involved in local parish activities. 
Number nine, Poland and Ireland both have a rich history of fighting for independence. Throughout the years, both nations have faced foreign occupation and lengthy struggles, which has fostered a deep respect for each other's tenacity and resilience. Number 10, if you know me at all, you know I'm a family man, three kids. Family is at the core of both Polish and Irish cultures. Strong family bonds and multi-generational households are very common, and celebrating occasions with family gatherings is something both societies really cherish. I like this fact, number 11. The Polish community in Ireland has set up its own media outlets, including newspapers, radio stations, and websites that keep everyone connected and also help newcomers settle in here. One great example is Nasz Głos, which has been serving the community since 2007. I'll be bringing home a copy or two as a souvenir. Finally, for our last point, number 12, it may be of no surprise to you that Polish, the language, has climbed the ranks to become the third most spoken language in Ireland, right after English and Irish. With so many Polish residents calling Ireland home, their language has truly woven itself into the everyday life here in Ireland. Well, thank you so much for tuning in. It was a real pleasure to make this presentation and to kind of do my own research and figure all of this out. Ireland is a beautiful country. I highly recommend traveling here and getting to know it. If you speak Polish, you'll have no problem whatsoever hearing Polish on the streets, talking in Polish. It's a great time to be here. Thank you for watching. If you have not subscribed to my channel, click the button right here. You see that little island behind me? The subscribe button so you don't miss out on future episodes and you become part of the Love My Poland family. See you in the next episode. Thank you very much.